You monster. I am a monster. On the golf course, I take no prisoners. I once shot three holes in one in a row. It wasn't an accident either. And I love mini golf. The turbulence Golden State dealt with only results in golfing titles. So you see the shot by Poole and Steph is clapping for the ball. Poole doesn't hit it and that's where Steph is upset. But Dub Nation is hoping trading young $128 million kid Jordan Poole to Washington will get their locker room vibes back to where they need to be. Coach of Team USA Steve Kerr will have a good chance to polish both his team chemistry inducing and playbook at the FIBA Americas World Cup. Across the aisle for Team Canada, Corey Joseph joins his fellow Canadian Andrew Wiggins, fits in personality-wise perfectly with the veteran makeup, and helps give this pending 23-24 dubs attack an insane amount of depth at the point guard position behind Stephen Curry. Stay tuned to see if the 2023-24 Warriors have any chance at getting back to the promised land. Just 17.5% of you watch are subscribed so please subscribe if you haven't already what would you like people to know about you i'm a fun guy <laughs> <laughs> a question mark for the dubs in 2024 will be how much motivation stephen curry has left in the tank at age 35 for a guy that's accomplished everything there is to accomplish in this universe, including most recently the American Century Amateur Golf Tournament Championship, in addition to the media blitz that he's been on, finding his way into every aspect of the mainstream, whether it's BuzzFeed, First We Feast, or Wired, I'm skeptical as to how much juice Curry legitimately has remaining. In a league that's getting younger and more athletic by the day, it's sad to think we could be shifting our way out of the Stephen Curry era, especially with he and the Dubs' most recent playoff loss to LeBron and the Lakers. Curry may be the most marketable and easiest player to root for in the NBA, but whether he still has that deadly 2022-esque instinct after securing ring number four just over a year ago, that's up in the air. In what'll be a season of revenge, Andrew Wiggins being healthy, who played through practically a broken rib in the Lakers series, on top of the fact that in the second round loss, the Warriors won the two games in which they did by a combined 42 points, gives you some hope if you're a Warriors fan that this championship proven core can get themselves together for another go at the dynasty's fifth chip. Clay Thompson was open in addressing his own faults after that LA series, even calling it one of his worst series ever in terms of shooting the basketball. Hey Clay, how much do you still believe in the core of this team having the potential to go all the way? I fully believe that. This stings real bad. It's gonna sting all summer. Thompson had open looks and looked kind of jittery in the city where he grew up watching his dad Michael call home. He made just three of his 19 field goals in the Lakers closeout game six win and many of those shots were open looks. Ultimately, every excuse in the book can be made, but the Warriors were just taken care of by the better team last spring. While they didn't address their lack of size per se, not doing too much in this year's free agency, a lot of teams being able to do whatever they wanted against them down low came to their locomotive in the middle, Kavon Looney, not being at exactly 100%. Looney has commendably suited up in all 82 games for consecutive seasons, but seemed worn down in both the Sacramento and Los Angeles series. Not having another legit center aside from Looney will again be the case in the 23-24 campaign, as while Dario Saric adds another big body stretch big, he won't be able to mimic Kavan's physical force in the restricted area. Regarding the depth behind Looney, 57th overall pick who played well in the summer league and Trace Jackson Davis may be relied upon. The product of Indiana and Davis averaged 16 points, 8.5 boards, 1.5 dimes, 1.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks over two games, but who really knows if he can contribute, man's gonna be a rookie. That means Looney being an Iron Man will again be a primary factor the Dubs have to rely on. Aside from the rookie in Jackson Davis, the center position didn't improve. Depth at the one as opposed to the five probably took a step forward though. Neither Corey Joseph or Chris Paul will be able to match Jordan Poole's athleticism, point per game average, or overall statistical output, but do provide significantly a lot more of that prevalent experience factor. 31-year-old Corey Joseph has taken a back seat as a role player on just about every roster he's been a part of, and unlike Poole, his ego won't have any problem with adapting to the big personalities of Curry, Green, or Thompson. Playing in 62 games for the Pistons in 22-23 in 20 minutes per game, Corey posted averages of 6.9 points and 3.5 dimes per night while shooting 38.9% from deep. More notably, Joseph ranked number 9 among all players a few spots ahead of newest Houston Rocket Fred Van Vliet in assist-to-turnover ratio. 
Corey's contract is an absolute bargain. Most importantly, it's the fact that Corey will be more than well aware from day one that he'll be tasked with being anything but the center of attention. When he was on the San Antonio Spurs, Joseph suited up in 58 regular season games and 17 playoff games in 2014, helping the Spurs win the championship that year. Whether it was that time spent in the Alamo, his time spent in Toronto, Indianapolis, Sacramento, or recently Detroit, this man Corey has consistently provided subservient ball handling that's made a timely impact. He's always been solid on the other end as well. He's got a career rating on defense that would equate to the second best mark among all point guards in 2022-23. Personally, I remember Joseph for helping win my hometown Raptors 10 playoff games back in 2016. That playoff run where he was a staple for Dwayne Casey's system saw Kojo play and be a key rotation piece in all 20 of the Raps postseason games where they came two wins from reaching the final. In that run, despite playing an average of 23 minutes each game, he had an astounding eight different outings where he scored in double figures, five of which saw him drop at least 14 points. Between managing the tempo with intelligent decision making and providing adequate defensive impact when Steve Kerr subs him in, Corey will be a big time contributor in any postseason run the Warriors may have. So like in any title run any given team's had throughout the 76 year history of the association, a lot of things will have to go their way, but the Warriors may just hit different in 2024.